I am sure I am not alone across the service in hearing the stories in recent weeks of utterly abhorrent behaviour affecting people who we have served alongside and how their lives have been impacted by the conduct which is just not acceptable in the Royal Navy today. Hearing some of the testimonies and reading how lives have been affected for those who have tried to bring their best to work has saddened me enormously. I find it hard to believe that within the service that I have been a part of so proudly for 38 years, we still have pockets of behavioural culture that are utterly unacceptable. I and the senior leaders of the service are determined to root it out and to remove it from everywhere and anywhere within the Royal Navy. Investigations are going on at the moment and it would be inappropriate of me to comment on the detail of any of them. But I want to be absolutely clear that once those investigations are complete, where we are required to act, we will, without fear or favour, regardless of rank or status. If people have acted wrongly, they will be removed from the service. Defence's zero tolerance policy is now in force and it is utterly clear and I am utterly clear, along with my fellow service chiefs who lead the Army and the Royal Air Force, that those who do not wish to serve in accordance with the values and standards of life in the United Kingdom's armed forces will be removed. There is no place for you if that is how you wish to conduct yourself. In the last few weeks, I've had the privilege of visiting a number of ships, submarines and air squadrons, and I have been delighted, encouraged and enthused by the numerous examples of proactive, positive and good leadership that is creating the sort of Navy that I and everyone else wants to be part of. To those of you who are involved in making our service the very best place it is to come and work, Thank you. Please carry on with what you are doing. I know at times it takes courage. I know at times it takes additional energy. But it is the right thing to do. We ask of ourselves extraordinary things at times. And in order to do that, we need to create the environment where each and every one of us can be the very best we can be. I and the senior leadership team are determined to counteract the negativity that still exists across our service in small pockets, to root it out and to ensure that we in the Royal Navy, as in the rest of wider defence, can bring the best of our talents and energies and focus on the things that the government and the country requires of us. Thank you.